Qatar and Bahrain to resume direct flights on 25th of May after a six-year suspension. UN chief hails Qatar's role in latest ceasefire in Gaza. Qatar Football Association's president attends the inauguration of Pele International Stadium in Bethlehem. And is there trouble in paradise? PSG Ultras protest against star duo Messi and Neymar. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Flights between Bahrain and Qatar are set to resume on 25th of May 2023 after being suspended in 2017. Bahrain's Civil Aviation Affairs announced the move on Monday, indicating a clear diplomatic rapprochement between the Gulf nations as part of a larger initiative to de-escalate tensions in the region. In April 2023, the two states met in Riyadh, where they officially re-established diplomatic ties for the first time since the 2017 GCC crisis. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres expressed his condolences to the families who have lost loved ones in the recent attacks on Gaza, noting that the hostilities have caused, quote, unjustified human suffering. He also commended Qatar, Egypt, Lebanon, and the United States for their role in the ceasefire agreement in the besieged city, stating that their diplomatic efforts have been pivotal in bringing about the truce. Last week, Israel launched another deadly attack on Gaza, killing at least 33 Palestinians, including six children. Now, a new chapter in Palestinian sports history is being written as the inauguration of the Pele International Stadium in Bethlehem saw dignitaries from the football world come together to celebrate. Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, president of the Qatar Football Association, was in attendance at the invitation of the Palestinian Minister of Sports and president of the Palestinian Football Association. And in sports, Leo Messi and Neymar Jr. have been targeted by PSG fans and pundits in French media several times this season. Protests by enraged fans have escalated both off and on the pitch, with ultras reportedly name calling the South American duo and booing them during matches. In response to the intensified protests, PSG has implemented heightened security measures at various locations, including the players' residences, the club's training center, and its headquarters. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.